Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Today we're going to talk about, you know, depending on the Lord uh, to heal you and not trusting it to Esau's uh, doctors, okay? So that's the that first scripture. Because, you know, of all of us that have been uh, been sick, we know some of us have been, like, very, very sick to the point of death or to the point of excruciating pain, you know, but we all had faith. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to get us through that sickness. Alright? Go ahead, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. And that soul is referring to Esau, the so called white man, okay? And part of that uh, soul being lifted up is not upright in him is referring to. Uh, uh, the white man being a doctor, which means to falsify, okay? So when you go to a doctor, they inject you with, the, with uh, drugs, okay? They basically bewitch you, okay? The only time I'm really gonna go to a doctor is if I break a bone, okay? But if I got a, a stomach ache, a, a headache, or even if my, a, a swollen joint, okay? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pray to you how about you shy and take herbs to uh, get through that sickness. I'm not going to just straightly go and uh, abandon my faith and abandon, abandon the knowledge that we learned through the Spirit of the Lord, through the elders, and run straight to the so-called white man. Right? I'm going to depend on Yahweh Bashim Shai first and foremost. And last, go ahead. Habakkuk 2 verse 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Just shall live by his faith, okay? And, and just... Uh, means to uh, to keep the commandments of the Lord, all right, to uh, to do the right thing, all right, according to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua's program. And that guideline is the Holy Bible. Okay, so that's how, that's how we live. We live through faith. Okay, give me a. I walk by faith, not by sight. All right. I got so, mm -hmm. This is uh, Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty-six. For ye have need of patience that. So after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Read that, read that let the last two verses again. Come on. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. Yep. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So it says the just shall live by faith. So if you, if you, go, if you go back, you know, and dependent on the so-called white man, you'd be put to death. I believe it was uh, a guy, I forget, I think it was from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. He, had, he had cancer or whatever. <laughs> That's exactly what scripture just said. Draw back. He did some shit about, uh, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know? So, I mean, first and foremost, we got to have faith in your house, and your house to get us through these, these sicknesses, all right? Even if we be nigh to death, okay, or we die, I'd rather really be dead anyway, okay? So, that's the attitude you should have, okay? In Babylon, we're, we're, we're in slavery here, okay? We're, we're, we're in uh, financial slavery, we're in mental slavery here. The only thing that makes us free is, is this knowledge. Right. Uh, it says, verse 39, verse 38 again. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Yeah, no pleasure means, Lord, when you're liable, you're subject to, to Satan again, subject to uh, demons destroying you. All right, good. But we are not of them that who draw back unto perdition. Yeah, we believe we have the mind of Yahweh Shemayahushah. We believe we have the mind of Yahweh Hamashiach. All right. So we so we not like those those men that draw back and that lose faith. All right? We pray that our lamps stay bright all the time and our garments stay white. Right? But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. But to them that believe, okay? That's going back to faith, going back to trust, and also going back to to experience. That's why the scriptures say the uh, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing of the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, so as we experience more, um, I say, uh, uh, trials, uh, sick, which are sick sicknesses, okay, 
the Lord get, makes us uh, makes our mind more experienced, makes our bodies more experienced, and, to, and to taking um, taking a whole bunch of shit, you know. Whoever would be, you, know, you may have joints uh, swollen, may have really uh, bad cold, may have, uh, mucus, sinuses may be clogged, may have really bad uh, headaches, okay. May have different uh, joint joint pains. All right. That's just name a few. So all, all the stuff I'm going through. You know, maybe they get bit by spiders. You know, and when you get bit by a spider, you get basically get poisoned. You know, and I believe I did get bit by a spider, but I didn't go to the doctor for it. You know, I prayed to you how about you shine and took you know certain certain herbs, and I prayed. And after a certain time, you know, if if I, if it didn't go down, you know, then I would have would have uh, maybe decided to go to to Esau, you know. But I had I had faith and I stuck to it, you know. And the Lord delivered me, you know, because we still are in prison, okay. So we are still subject to go to Esau for help, all right. But the Lord delivered me out of that. I'm not going to Esau for fucking cancer. Okay, if I know I have cancer and I went to Esau and said, okay, I have cancer, I'm not getting no fucking chemo. I'm not doing that shit. Okay, I'm going to do, do natural remedies and I'm going to pray to your how about you now, Shai. The Lord grant me life. I'll live. The Lord just grants you, tells me I have to be put to death. or say that I have to be put to death, then I'm, that's where I'm going. All right? And that's the attitude an elect man should have. That's the mindset an elect man should have. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter two verse uh select me. Second Corinthians chapter four verse sixteen. For which cause we faint not, but though our inward, outward man perish shall we faint not. Okay. Okay, that means the Lord keeps the spirit in us to keep going through through whatever. Right. It says, But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. There we go. Okay, so our uh, outward man is our flesh, okay? And our flesh is a, is a subject to going off, you know, from, from, from the Lord, and it's subject to being sick, being physically sick and weak, all right? So, but as we get sick, we understand, like, look, it's your Hawa Bashi Mel Shai, he, he's just tr trying us. He's uh, sending these uh, demons to try us. So, Knowing that, knowing that the, that the Lord has the, the power of good and evil, we know that and we believe that Yahweh Bashmi Al is for us. So, if Yahweh Shah be for us, who can be against us? All right, that's our faith. That's our. That's what we stand on. Okay. John six and sixty three. Right, what you just said. Mm -hmm. This is uh, uh, Romans chapter eight verse thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Yeah. As it is as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yeah, so the Lord, he, he's the father of spirits. Okay, he 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 can just take in and out. Remember, the Lord, his mind is on even Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Their minds are on a totally different level than our minds are on, okay? We may see death, but when we die in this world, they, we just go back to them. Okay, so it's, it's uh, they have a higher elevation of a uh, thought than we have. Read that again. Right. So this is uh, Romans chapter eight, verse thirty-five. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shah? Nobody. So, not sickness. Okay. Not jail. Good. So tribulation or distress. That was tribulation. Good. Or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Okay, yeah. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yah Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shah. So oh, that's that, that's the power that we have, okay, as men of the Lord, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay? The Lord's always with us. His Holy Spirit continuously renews us every single day. 
okay? As we die every day, we, the Lord just brings us back up again, okay? And we die daily what, in, in these weak bodies. We die daily with uh, our financial situation. We, we die daily with our fucking women, okay? We die daily interacting with fucking Esau, okay? And the Lord continuously renews us. That's what it means to die daily. Go ahead. Yeah, just keep bringing up key words. Uh, this is uh, Second Peter's chapter two, verse seven, mm -hmm. and delivered just Lot, vexed with the wicked conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day. Kind, that's that's uh, an example of you dying, okay, outwardly, okay, and the Lord what well, we renew, kept renewing. That's just that we're in the same lot. We're we we just we're in the same mindset that Lot was, okay. A lot is all right that we see all this wickedness around us, and the only thing we can do is pray to your and curse, all right, and continue doing the work of the Lord. It says, For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to rescue the unjust unto the day of the judgment to be punished. Okay, so when we in that, that the situation, okay, when our, our bodies are compromised, the Lord He can He can take us out of that. He can take He can take us from anything. I mean, you could be on your deathbed one day, and then you can you can fall asleep, and the next morning it could be like you you was never even on your deathbed. That's the power your Halabashim Yahushai has. Okay. And I've experienced that. And other brothers have too. The lack of the miracles that you have Bashim Yah Shah can do in an instant. Okay? Or you can be at you was you felt like wanting to die one day and then the next day you, you feel a whole lot better. You may still be in a little pain, but most of the, the curse is gone. Second Corinthians chapter four verse seventeen for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Yeah, that was our light. That was light affliction. Okay, light affliction. That was, that was but for a moment. Because when you really look at the, the scope of things, we only suffering for a little while. Okay, as soon y'all watching our child is going to burn this whole place up, and we're going to be delivered. So we pray y'all watching our child that you bring it to pass speedily. It says, uh, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things Come, which, which is things which are not seen, okay? When I'm praying, I'm, I'm praying to somebody that I cannot see, okay? When I'm, when I'm afflicted, I'm, I'm uh, praying to Yahweh Shai, okay? Praying to the Most High in the name of Yahweh Shai. That's the gateway we have to go through, okay, for forgiveness of sins, for, for healing, okay, for, and for prosperity in, in this uh, in the Word, okay, Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm praying to an invisible power, okay. Go ahead. Uh, We're praying to an invisible power. Go ahead, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Saint John chapter twenty, verse twenty-nine. Yahweh Shai say unto Thomas. Because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. God, there you go. So we're blessed. All right, because we haven't seen the Lord. Right. And we believe. All right. Well, we've seen him in our past lives, but in this life right now, we haven't seen you how about you now, Shai. All right. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay. This is second, second Corinthians chapter five, verse six. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For yeah, we are absent. We are absent with the Lord. You know, we we, we want to be with the Lord. Uh, the twelve religions, well, not allowed, not allowed to the death. Mm -hmm. We, we want to be with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? So we're present in these bodies, we're, we're absent from the Lord, okay? Go ahead. 
It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. This is why people can't get it, because we we wholeheartedly believe in the words in this, in this book, which are, the, which are the correct, which you have to have the Spirit, the Holy Spirit to break down. We have the Holy Spirit to break the Scriptures down, okay? Through the Spirit, through our elders, all right? Second mm -hmm. okay. Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. Okay. The faith is the evidence of things not seen. Okay. So we we believe that Yahweh Bashim is working in our lives daily. Alright. And that'll bring us back from any disease okay so as long as your Lord counts as worthy or it's within his program and it's, and it's within his program go ahead verse 8 we are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord yeah so, so if you don't desire that then something's wrong with you you're not among the elect right? that's, that's a desire of an elect man wanting to be with the Lord Right? To be at a point in his life and saying this shit fucking sucks. I want to get the hell out of here immediately, as soon as possible. Okay, but we wait for you, how about you shot? And the Lord's not tearing. Okay, the Lord's coming at His decided time. That is the time that Yahweh, okay, determined for Yahweh shot to rescue us. But wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. Come, that we may be accepted because if, if we accept it with Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Shah, the Lord's going to heal us. Okay, the Lord's never going to forsake us. All right, now on the, on the flip side, if if we don't keep the, the Lord's commandments, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Shah's commandments, meaning to go out and preach, teach the word, okay, and be, uh, and grow up and mature as men, like Paul said, I, when I was a child, I thunk like a child. Now that he's a full age, he's in a dumb, he put away childish things, okay? So we were, when we were children, we depended on Esau to heal us. Right? And then we're, we're, we're grown, we depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to heal us, okay? Through his spirit, through the, the medicines that he created on the earth, okay, to heal our bodies. All right? In the prayer of the, uh, the Akim, okay? Scriptures say, "Well, if two or three are gathered in my name; there am I in the midst." All right? So that's our faith. That's that's where we stand. Okay, on sickness and health. Okay, our our, our, our foundation is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Good. This is uh, Hebrews chapter one, <laughs> Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one. Okay. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now we get faith as a gift. The next, okay. uh, read that again. Hebrews chapter 11 Because everybody doesn't have uh, faith That's why a lot of people can't come into this thing Because they think this is a carnal thing You know, they think that, that we're just like Men getting together or doing something good as, as men, you know But they don't understand that this whole thing Is a, a spiritual union that we have with each other all right? And then Yahweh, Yahweh Shai he, he, he's, he's our lamp all right? He's the one that's fueling us daily They don't understand that Go ahead now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders attain a good report. Okay, well, and we say the same thing about our elders. Okay? So, elders, we've seen their faith, that their, their uh, what do you call it, their um, perseverance, okay, through the years. And that made us, that makes us strong. Go ahead. So, real quick, yeah. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 15. This the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid up, neither laid they up this in their minds that his grace and mercy is with his saints and he and that he have respect unto his chosen. And yes, yeah, so the Lord has respect to his chosen. Okay, meaning that he's, he's looking, respect means to look at. Alright, so the eyes, the Yahweh's eyes are looking at us. Okay, so we're looking at some good now. Okay. So if they look, you're looking at us for good, he has respect unto us. That means the Lord's going to make us prosperous in this word. All right? And he's going to give us good health. Okay? 
to whom the Lord grants the good health to. As of late, I've been in very good health. Okay? Had a few, you know, uh, sicknesses. One uh, serious, only lasted for a day. And other small things. But Yahweh Shai has just been, 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 with, been with me. This is uh, he, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that is, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Read that again. Hebrew, uh, Hebrews. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Yes, yeah, so the Lord gave us, gave us the faith, okay? So we can be under grace. All right? So, we'll, so as long as we're under grace, we're perfect vessels, okay? Fit for the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's use, okay? If you're not under grace, then you're not a perfect vessel, okay? And you, if you allow, but if you put to death uh, shamefully, if you allow, you're, allowed, you're not among the elect. Not what you got. I don't know where Hebrews second chapter two. Uh, it was a uh, verse. Get the verse. You want uh, they love them or not? You want that first, y'all. Yeah. Right. Right. This is uh, Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Yeah, by the blood of the Lamb. Okay, me and Yahweh Shai died for our sins. Alright? That's the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. Alright? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. And by the word of the testimony, okay? And the testimony is, is Yahweh Shai. Scripture, scriptures tell you that the, the Bible speaks of Yahweh Shai, okay? This is uh, uh, John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh. Yeah, the word quickeneth means to make alive. Yeah, you know? alive. Get the Greek word in there. That is uh, zao. Find out what that is. Quickeneth. It means life. It's a, also a rendition of that. Spirit that quickeneth. Yeah. Yes, uh, Sapayo. Sapayo. Right. To restore to life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> to restore to life. Right. That's a good, that's a really good definition. Right. It's the spirit that restores to life. The flesh profit of nothing. This is uh, John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. It's the spirit that restores to life. The flesh, okay, doesn't restore to life. That's what he's saying. Right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The words restore to life. All right? Meaning that we have, the will, we know the will of the Lord. Get, um, you have the mind of Christ, Amashiach. Uh, Get where that's at, because we'll put that on your chance. Huh? Right. Well, Hebrews second chapter. Uh, which one in there? It should be on there. Right. This is uh, Hebrews chapter two, verse four. God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders. Both with signs and wonders. Okay, so we, if, as you become more experienced in the truth, you should understand, you know, the power of Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, whether it be manifest through dreams, uh, uh, sicknesses you have, bouts you have with the, the damn public, bouts you have with your families, okay? Financial situations. You should, you should, you should be, by now, we should be experienced in, in a lot of these things, okay? Go ahead. Experience, as like the elders say, which is the truth, okay? You look, just look the word up, it means to try out. Okay, so as we come more as we become more seasoned in truth, we start to see uh, the, the spirit that's, that's on the different situations, okay? And we, understand, we start to understand, it starts to become more clear why certain things happen, okay? Right. Hebrews 2 verse 4, God also bearing the witness uh, both with signs and wonders and with divers miracles 
and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. For unto the angels have he not put in, in subjection the world to come wherefore whereof he, we speak. But one cer but one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels, thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all, all in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. That tells you the power of Yahweh Shai, that the, the, the Father gave uh, the Son. All right. So knowing that, that's that's who's fighting for us. Okay. What be the scriptures in um, text you with? It said, uh, I believe it's um, Isaiah thirty nine. Said that the the Lord, the fire is in Zion and His furnace is in Jerusalem. Okay. That's that's the power that, that we that we dealing with. That's that's our power. That's the one that we're taking orders from. So knowing that our leader is so great, that's that should build your faith up strong. Alright? You should be strong, you should be fervent knowing that you have a power that that strong, okay? Remember the, the power that we're dealing with, he's the creator of everything. Good and bad. Alright? That's who our our, our our camp leader is, okay? Yeah, I was shy. All right. It's the camp of Israel. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter two verse eight. Thou has put all things in subjection on his under his feet, for in that he put all subjection. So like it, for in that he put all in subjection under under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Yahweh who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. That yeah, that's that's say for the suffering of death. So the Lord could just vanish. He just the Lord has spiritual powers. <laughs> you know, you know crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. For it became him. For whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the, the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Man, the captain of salvation perfect through sufferings. Our captain, like I said, our camp leader is Yahweh Shai, and he is just powerful. He's all powers. He's omnipotent. All right. So knowing that, okay, that that's who's healing us. Okay, that's who's fighting for us. All right. Yeah, you know, I said we're made perfectly suffering, okay? Because when when you're suffering, you you uh, are in a supplication, and you're constantly praying for the pain to stop or for you to die, okay? One or the other or both. Well, when you're dead, the pain would stop, and then you're perfect, okay? You're not gonna go off no more when you're dead, you know? So, but well, we got a job to do. All right, the Lord put us on this on this earth. To be prophets, okay, and teachers, to do His work. That's why the Lord's not going to put us to death when we're sick. All right, the Lord's going to keep, keep the spirit in us so we can do His work. Okay, we have to follow the orders of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, no matter what, unto unto death. Okay, so the Lord that commands us to be put to death, and we got to go, whatever way He He sees fit. All right, go ahead. So I'm real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 but, but unto you that fear my name Shall the son of righteousness Arise with healing in his wings And shall grow, go forth And grow up as a calf of the star Read that again okay. This is uh, Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 But unto you that fear my name Shall the son of righteousness Arise with healing in his wings And shall go forth And grow up as a calf of the star okay, So Yahweh Bashem is going first Raise us up and um in the spirit, okay, and eventually he's going to take us up in the chariots, okay. So the Lord is the one that make make going to make us alive, okay, and the Lord is the one that's going to transform us if we're among the elect getting beamed up. All right? So that's still that's still an unstoppable force that's fighting for us. That's on our side. Esau can't do better. None of the nations can do better. The na nations are uh, trash and nothing. They've been the nations have been likened to a, 
a, a, a drop that falls from a bucket, okay? Like Yahweh Shai said himself, the remnant of the things that are Caesar's and rent the things that are uh, things that are to the Lord, roughly, roughly paraphrasing, okay? Meaning that in comparison to what Caesar has, which is so called white man, okay, his power structure on one planet compared to the universe, Yahweh Shai, okay? Which is you couldn't even, you know, measure the so called white man's uh, authority on a scale, which he which he has none, okay? His authority is given to him by Yahweh Shai. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11 For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren saying I will declare thy name unto my brethren Yeah we're one body okay We are in the body of Hamashiach all right? and the body of Hamashiach is perfect all right? and if you're outside the body you, you speak in perverse you're not in order you speak in perverse uh Breaking the scriptures down wrong, okay. So everybody's not a part of the, uh, your body, Hamashiach. If you're saying the wrong thing, you're not a part of the body. That's simple, okay. That's for you guys to say we're, we're, we're all one body. No, the hell we're not. We we're in Hamashiach, okay. If you're breaking the scriptures down wrong, you're not in the body, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. First Corinthians chapter one verse ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Come on, give me uh, Matthew 21, so it's on the, uh, on the list. Right above it says, being cast out as a heathen man and a publican. Just to add on with what you, to what you, uh, yeah. So, that's the order. We're supposed to be speaking the same thing, okay? One brother's not supposed to say, oh, we got to depend on Esau for, uh, to heal us, okay? They had the, 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 the right brother saying, okay, you got to depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the herbs that the Lord gave us, okay? That's the right thing to do. That's the right thing to say. That's the right mindset to have, all right? So if you're saying something contrary to that, what I said is coming from the word, the will, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, if you're saying, saying the other thing, if he's saying the other thing, you're not a part of the body of Hamashiach. Go ahead and read that. This is uh, Matthew 18, verse 17. It says, And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Yeah, so you can't let anybody seduce you, okay, and to depend on Esau. All right, you got to depend on your Yahweh and Yahweh first uh, and last through everything. All right. And uh, uh, Hebrews. Um, I'm at the 12th. No, shit. I'm at the, yeah, I'm at the 13th verse. You want me to go to 14? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, what is that? Go ahead, please. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 13. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and so blood. I will put my trust in him. Okay, that's coming straight out the scriptures. Go ahead. For as then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that have the power of death, that is the devil. Okay. So, in other words, the, when we're saved, we're not going to die anymore. Okay? The Israelites. Okay, I mean, that we're, we're going to live a full age a full life okay on earth and then we're going to return to the spirit world and come back all right? we're not going to get sick all right? we're not going to have mental problems all right? we're not going to have disorders and diseases and viruses Isaiah 41, verse 9. Mm -hmm. It says, Though thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, 
and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and and not cast thee away. There you go. So if we be in the body of Hamashiach, the Lord is going to uh, preserve us, okay? The Lord is going to keep us. He's not going to allow us to, to elevate to the, to the high of the society, and the Lord is going to keep us from being a, in the lowest to this, in the society, okay? Remember, the Lord's fighting for us, okay? We have we have the faith, okay? We have the experiences now, okay? So we can speak up and, and, and tell the other brothers that the Lord does have the power to deliver us. Uh, it's not a it's not a myth. Uh, this is actual power that the Lord has, and the Lord works in us every day. Uh, real quick, Sirach so right, four verse twenty eight: Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay. So the Lord right there is uh, well Ephesians six and ten. Gonna get that later. Uh, yeah. So in order for the Lord to fight for you, you got to do the right thing for Him. You know. Yeah, you got to keep following the orders. You know. And the Lord set up. Judges on earth, which are the elders of Great Millstone, okay? And we follow their, follow, follow their orders, okay? Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 40, 41, verse 17. When the poor when the poor and needy seek water and there is none. Yeah, the poor and needy are the Israelites, okay? David was constantly saying he's poor and needy. Well, he was prophesying, okay? Because David wasn't, wasn't poor and needy. He didn't have to bake bread, okay? David was rich, but David constantly said he was poor and needy. All right. But when the poor and needy seek water and there is none, and their tongue fell for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, I, the God of Jacob, of Israel, will not forsake them. Kind. That's why we're we're alive today. We have we have we got the words. All right. We got the words. Yahweh Shemayim Shaf. You read John six and sixty three. Go ahead. I will open rivers and high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. So, Philippians 2 verse 26. This is an example of uh, sickness, I believe, in this uh, scripture. Uh, Philippians 2 verse 26. You might want to start a verse up or maybe, I don't know. All right. Oh, damn. Verse 25. Uh, Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you and was full of heaviness because that ye ha had heard that he had been sick. Yeah, so even though you were in the truth, you you are going to be sick, okay? You are going to have the ailments, okay? You have to pray, you have to take the herbs. All right, you got to get brothers to pray for you. All right. Go ahead. It says, for, verse 27, for indeed he was sick not unto death. Not unto death, okay? So if it happened to them, it's going to happen to us. We're going to have brothers that are not unto death. Okay, we're going to have brothers that are just in a pain and, and that are just sick. All right. In pain so much you want to die, you know. Yeah, real quick. Yep. Uh, Romans chapter fifteen verse four: For whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning. Perfect. Here we go. So we understand that these things happen. Okay. So so some 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 dumbass nigga can't tell us. Okay, if you got the spirit of the Lord, why why you keep why you sneezing? Okay. Shouldn't you shouldn't you be invincible? No. The scriptures say that the outward man died daily. Okay. And this is an example of, of a man being sick in the truth, the Paphroditus. Okay. So when the man is sick, what you do? You pray. You take the herbs. What? For uh, Romans chapter fifteen verse four: For whatsoever things were written afore time, but written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. Yeah, might patience means to suffer, and comfort of the scriptures. Okay, which means the Lord is eventually going to deliver us. We have we have the knowledge of. of with the most high, we have, we have the knowledge of seek. Go ahead. We learn both sides. Go ahead. Might have hope. Might have hope. Okay, so we have hope that the, the suffering, the pain is going to stop and the Lord is going to deliver us. All right. Go ahead. Pass, pass whole closet. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. 
This is uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 27. For indeed he was not, he was sick nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him. So it's, it's not a strange thing when we get sick, okay? We understand that's going to come. You just pray the Lord delivers a lot, delivers us a lot of it. Huh? It says, and not on him only, but on me also. At least I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Yeah, so it's a certain uh, um, amount of calamities that a certain man can take before you know, before you know you might like lose it, you know. Or just being uh, gonna have like a continual fucked up, you know, mind. All right, so the Lord will push you. To, push you to a certain point and bring you back. This is, uh, James chapter... Because if the Lord wants to break you, he can. He can make you go insane. Okay? You can be sitting, everything be fine one moment and then your back tighten up and you roll it around on the ground and tie wrapped up in a ball. You know? Or you just, you know, it, the Lord can strike you with the sickness in, at an instant. Okay? The Lord can also bring you back in an instant also. Okay. Uh, uh, Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 Come and let us return unto the Lord For he hath torn and and he will heal us He hath smitten and he will bind us up After two days will he revive us And the third day he will raise us up And we shall live in his sight uh, The scriptures um, and the curses Deuteronomy uh, 28 Does say the Lord is going to smite us with the botch of Egypt Okay and all the curses that are, that aren't written in the book, okay? So the Lord is terrible. I mean, when you in extreme pain, I mean, you you really find out that the Lord is terrible, man. He really, truly is. I was shot you. I mean, the Lord is just terrible, man. The Lord can just just fuck you straight up, man, at a moment's notice, all right? Through whatever spirit, okay? Correct your ass, okay? Or to just to send you through a, a trial, okay? For instance, uh, the sons of Israel, what did they do to uh, evil to, to be held captive in, in uh, Egypt for 400 years? They didn't do anything. The Lord saw it fit for them to be to go through that trial. All right? This is uh, James 5 and 13. God, yep. Is any man among you afflicted? Let him pray. Yep. Let him pray. That's simple. That's, we should be experts in praying by now. All right. Yahweh Shai. Salak Yabkatav. Kahala Yahweh Bashim Shai. What? Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any uh, sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. There you go. I'll start doing that again because the elders had mentioned that uh, about anointing, anointing ourselves with uh, olive oil. So I got to you know, get into that. I haven't done that in a while. So I can you Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Mm. See? That's the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Now, see, nothing in there about Esau. All right, Esau raising you up and, and getting you, keeping you whole. Okay? Don't trust the so-called white man. If you're like, if you got a broken bone or, you know, or you may be uh, poisoned by uh, something that you're not sure about, then you might want to go to Esau. All right? But otherwise, stick to the the, the, the herbs, all right? And most of all, prayer, all right? To use your good judgment. But and if and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effect the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man of the much. Much, okay. There you go. Avail of much. Alright? So, I mean, if it's, if, it, if it's within the Lord's will, the Lord will bring you back from destruction. Alright? Well, give me some of 91. God. <laughs> that's what you're about to get? Yeah, I'm about to get some more. Uh, Moses. That's Moses. Uh, 
Yes, this is, this is uh, Micah chapter yeah. 7, verse 8. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. Mm -hmm. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay. That's a process, okay? That's... That's everything that basically we're going through right now and that's, and that's going to happen in the future. Okay? So, we just living, living out what the scriptures are saying. For good and bad. This is uh, Psalms 90. 90 or 91? 91. Psalms 90, yeah. 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Don't go farther back. Says, don't turn this man to destruction. Say it's returning children of men. That's in 90, I believe. Uh, Psalms 90 yeah I see it Fine. Psalms 90 verse I'll start at 1 and then go back to 91 go okay. Lord thou has been our uh, dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were formed thou has been our dwelling place thou has been our dwelling place alright go ahead before the mountains were brought forth wherever thou has formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art Yahweh <laughs> or basically, he exists. Yeah, know? there you go. Thou, art, thou, art, yeah, thou, art pre thou art present. All right. Yeah. yeah most, I mean, uh, King David said, if he were dead, the Lord would beat her. Yeah, you know, yeah. If he was made his bed in hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not talking about Hades, okay? Kind of. Uh, Psalms 90, verse 3. Thou turnest man to destruction and says, Return ye children of men. There you go. So that's. But when the Lord, he destroys somebody, you can bring them straight back, okay? You can completely change their heart, you bring them back and make them do the same exact thing again. All right, go to 91. Okay. Psalms 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place is what? The knowledge, okay? This this is the, the knowledge is basically like you logging on to like a, a network, a private network, okay? And only certain people have the password to all right, that's the secret place of the Al Mashinah Shah. Everybody can't uh, log on, log on to this this network of information. Right. It says, uh, verse two, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver it's faith. What? Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the father, father. And from the noise and pestilence, mm -hmm. he shall cover thee with his his fire. Go ahead. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be uh, so like you. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be shield, shield. Go ahead. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, yeah. nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. That's the fire. Go ahead. That's the missiles. Go ahead. No, for the pestilence that walk up in darkness, no, for the destruction that wasted that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side, but it shall not come nigh at thee. Yeah, because you're among the elect. Go ahead. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You know, with thy eyes, as the elect look down and see Babylon, which is a miracle, in flames, okay? And every foundation down there being broke down. All right, go ahead. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even with the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh, nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. They shall bear us keeping our garments white, all right? Keep it, keeping the oil, keeping the lamps burning. Go ahead. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Mm. And, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou tread upon. Esau, so a white man. Right. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Okay. He hath known my name, which is Yahweh Bashim al Shai. But some people confess that they don't know. And, it, and that it doesn't matter. You know, but we have the mind of Hamashiach, okay? Having the mind of Hamashiach meaning we know his name. We know the name of the Father. It says, verse 15, 
he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. That's a name. That's a name scripture. How you, get, how you can't get around that. Go ahead. God. And honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God. So we pray among the elect, okay, that we can get the hell out of here swiftly. All right. For all the end sickness and health, you know, we're married to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, no matter what, you got to continue to push forward. John chapter 3 verse I saw at 13 And no man have ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life Yeah so the, the reason why I brought scripture up because the serpent represented Yahushua's spirit and it brought you back, back to life when you were poisoned Okay, so that's 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 the point. Okay, knowing the words and believe, believing the words. Okay, wholeheartedly taking them to heart. Through that, Yahushua is going to deliver us if we're among the elect. All right, having having the, the mind of Yahweh Yahushua and understanding and studying and continuing to do His will, the Lord is going to save us. All right. He's going to deliver us from, from sickness. You want the medicine scripture? Yeah, oh, well, give me uh, Matthew 21 is 4. Right. This is uh, Matthew chapter 21, verse 4. It says, All this was done that he might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, behold, I came cometh unto thee. Meek and sitting upon an ass, and a coat, the file of an ass. And the disciples went and, and did as Yahushua commanded them, and brought the ass and the coat, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down the branches from the trees and, and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son. To the son of David, bless is yeah, he. Now, uh, Hos Hosanna believes means save now. Okay, I believe it's how how is now or some very variation of that. Oh yeah, read it again. Yeah, it's uh, verse nine of Matthew chapter twenty-one. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of, of David. Bless is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna is the highest. Bless is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shinawa, okay? Blessed is he that cometh in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? So we're blessed because that's the name that we come in. Okay? Yahweh Shinawa. Barak Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city were, was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Yahweh Shai, the prophet of Nazareth. Of Galilee, and Yahushua went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer. Here we go. That's another point I want to make. Say, My house shall be called the house of prayer. Give me a Thessalonians. Uh, it says, um, Christ not the Spirit, pray without ceasing. The Lord. The Lord's house is a house of prayer, okay? Now, we're not, not talking about the physical house, which was spoken about right here, but the spiritual house, okay? I mean, that's, that's, what we have, that's the thing that we have to take up daily, okay? It's a uh, fervent prayer, okay? Fervent prayer in the, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. We just read the blessed seed that cometh in the name of the Lord. Alright? Now, we're going to Thessalonians. This is uh, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse. Uh, 17. Pray without us, sorry, 15. Yeah, yeah, well. See that not render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God and Yahweh Shah concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not proper signs, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Okay, despise not proper signs, because... A brother could be doing a video and then it's cutting you, you know? That's why the scriptures say to pride, despise 
not prophesize, okay? And just correct yourself and move on. Not a big deal. All right. Maybe that's a rock 38 and 24. Uh, Sirach, I want you to give an out to child. I don't think it's a child. All right. All right. Sirach 38 verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man coming by opportunity of leisure. Yeah, a learned man. Opportunity of leisure meaning that, that you're studying, that you're experiencing uh, things. All right. Like I said, like I quoted earlier in Brother Bobby Get Scripture, when I was a child, uh, I, I thought as a child. And he used other examples, then he said, Now that that is uh, grown, you put away childish things. All right, so the, the point I'm making, scripture says that the uh, wisdom of a learned man coming through opportunity and leisure means you're going to have to have time to get out of your day to have you study and get the the, the experience and in, 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 um, in reading, okay, and understand what the different prophets and teachers are talking about. Yep, 25. The wisdom of a learned man, uh, Sirach 38, verse 24. The wisdom of, of a learned man comes. Yeah, this is how we know not to go to Esau, okay? For, for fucking help. Alright? The wisdom of a learned man coming by opportunity of leisure, and he that have little business shall become wise. Okay. They have, they have little business shall become wise. Alright? So, some brothers have more. Um, time on their hands than others but it is a scripture I cannot think of it right now it's, uh, it says better as there's a man or it might be in a proverb I heard somewhere that uh, has been here for a small amount of time and learned a lot than a man has been here for a long time for a long time and learned a little you know so you know we have the spirit of Yahweh Shai alright so we know how to study okay we know how to study we understand the gospel. We understand, we understand the prophets. Alright? We understand the will of Yahweh Shemel Shai. This is uh, Sirach, verse 19, verse 24. He that has small understanding and fear of God is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses the law of the Most High. That's good. Read it again. This is uh, Sirach, 19, verse 24. He that have small understanding and fear of God is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses the law of the Most High. God, here we go. And the scriptures tell you, never trust thine enemy. For his iron rushes throws his wickedness. Okay? Now you saw the devil. Remember, you saw still the devil, right? And well, according to some people, I believe they polite to say the white man was so called white man wasn't the devil. If he's not the damn devil, then who is he? You might as well get Job. I ain't been read that in ages or have I haven't read it in a while. Job nine twenty four. But go ahead, which scripture? <laughs> Esau's Esau's a devil. The so white man is a devil. Yeah, kind of. Just right. about to mention brother for life, but for the sake, I mean, not on that topic right now. But anyway, yeah. brother just mentioned that nigga. Yeah. Uh, basically, polite is that that nigga with with much wisdom, you know. But yet he does he doesn't. Or garbage. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's you much. could call it wisdom. It, it looks like wisdom. To, to it appears to be wisdom to to the unlearned, you know. Kind of scripture say ever learning and never. Able to come to the knowledge of the truth, you know, that's that nigga right there. It's a perfect example, man. You know, he goes into all these different books, he, he writes, he offers books himself. You know, he has one book that he goes into the uh, into the Hebrew, into the ancient Lashua Kodash, and also he, he has the name of Yahweh on the cover of his book, you know. So, where where's that polite at? Where's his, the polite his brain's that, all fucked up, man. Yeah, kind of, where's the polite that knew that the white man was the devil, you know? Where and who was this guy now? Now, now he's just uh, this financial guy, the nigga trying to get money, you know? What ha what happened to his ass? He's, he's up the devil now. Well, he was always was the devil. Yeah. Got another precept, Joe. All right. Uh, All right, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse uh, 11. This goes, uh, connects uh, Sirach 38 and 24. 1 uh, uh, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands. As there you go, because it's not. I mean, it's when you depend on another man. You know, it's it's hard, especially when you know you have skills that you can use to better yourself. It's hard taking uh, you no know, arms sometimes. You know, that's why the scripture says 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 this. Okay, 
and what can what command me to do that, okay? To to work with our hands, okay, and take care of your business. Go ahead. Okay, it says again, uh first Thessalonians chapter four verse eleven, and that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye have lack of nothing. And ye have lack of nothing. Okay, that's where we, what we supposed to the point supposed to be at now. We should have lack of nothing. If we have the brotherhood, we should know no one to lack anything that he needs. Alright? I ain't talking about a twenty twelve you know, Ford Fusion or no shit like that, you know? <laughs> or fifty seven inch screen T V. You know? Sixty inch L E D, you know, we ain't talking about that. We're talking about the necessities, you know, you need a computer, you know, might need boots, coat, you know, gas in your car. Speak as a child. Yeah, you got a precept. Yeah, get uh, Sirat twenty one and fifteen. Uh, Sirat, oh shit, twenty one and fifteen. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he would he would commend it. Yeah, we hear wise words from the elders, okay. And if you're watching the video, you be hearing wise words from us. All right, so we commend the elders, and you should be commending us. All right? If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend, commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him, mm. and he casteth it behind That's him. scoffers walking past. He's speaking words of wisdom all day, you know? And niggas get upset, you know? Like, and these bitches get upset. Niggas are cloth, you know? That skinny ass, drew like bitch, and the box head, and the back of ice. <laughs> Uh, read this one more time. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter four, verse fifteen. This people, this the people saw and understood it not. Neither lay up, neither lay they up this in their minds that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and that he have respect unto his chosen. Yeah, huh? That's why we're still alive because we have the grace. Okay, we have the mercy. Okay. Yeah, that's it. This is uh First Corinthians chapter. 13 verse uh, 9 for we know in part and we prophesy in part God, I mean, you know, we, we don't know every single verse in this Bible and every single breakdown but we have the spirit give me um, Deuteronomy says the hidden things belong to the yeah. Lord <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so we have we, we know the whole scripture I meaning we know everything that, that the Lord revealed to us to Save ourselves and them that hear us. That's what we know. All right. This is uh, Saint John chapter twenty verse thirty. And many other signs truly did Yahweh show in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in his book. But these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shah, the, the Son of the Most High, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Uh, all right, so we know the things that, that, that are written in the book, that's that's what we're supposed to stick to. We're not supposed to name every star, you know, and know, know about the, the far galaxies and how nebulous work, you know, and, and everything about outer space. That's, that's not our knowledge that we have right now. We're not supposed to have that knowledge. All right? We have what we need for our salvation of our souls right here in the program that the Lord gave us. All right, go ahead. This is uh, Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. The secret things belong unto us. It's like it's, the secret things belong unto Yahweh, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and that and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Huh, good. Continue. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 10. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Read that again. Uh, so that nine. Yeah. For First Corinthians chapter thirteen verse nine. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Okay. So we gonna get the knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Lord, the Lord, the message gonna reveal to us all things. Huh? The tree of uh, life, spoken by the Book of Revelations. We had this twelve man of fruit and all that, so we are eventually gonna get get the uh, full understanding. Yeah, kind of. He saw he trying his, his ass off basically to find out the Most High, which is impossible. You know? Ponce de Leon, 
uh, that was the uh, yeah, found the youth. <laughs> I was yeah, like, okay. well, but still, though, same, still, yeah. Thing, you know? yeah. He yeah. saw us trying his hardest to find out the most high, search out basically the the, the the answer to life, which is it's recorded in the Bible. Yeah. And he tries to go further and beyond, you know, because the scriptures say uh, that he's going to be against the most high, you yeah. know. It says it clearly as this, is, and he's fulfilled that prophecy. You and know? and uh, the, the Lord would disannul his covenant with Israel if he could search out the heavens and the seas. Yep, yep, you know? yep. But he can't do that. Right. <laughs> he's trying. Yep. That's why he named st star systems and. Clusters and all that, Andromeda, the Draco, Draco, uh, Capricornius. Yeah, he names all the stars. Sagittarius know. and all that. Yeah. You know? Classified different. He saw, he, he, yeah. he'll tell you that he knows, <laughs> like, 10,000 mile power, a certain planet, you know, somewhere. 10,000 mile power winds, uh, constant volcano eruptions, okay, the acidic soil. He saw, I don't know, he's just making this shit up. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, then the same. circumference of the, 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 the the planet, whatever given planet went strong out there, you know? You saw don't don't know that. He's just making all the shit up. He don't know the circumference of these darn planets, all the minerals that's on the planets, the wind that how fast the wind is blowing, whether there's volcanoes and ice and all that. He just makes the shit up. Because right? Esau never been there, okay? The only thing Esau can do, he can see out into space at, to a certain distance. Alright? This is uh, real quick. Sirach, uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, no, chapter 8, verse 17. Then I beheld all the work of God that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. There you go. That's that's not even outer space. God. That's under the sun. All right? <laughs> well, that's us looking up, you know, and everything down where we at. Yeah, with the planet Earth. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8, verse 17. Then I beheld all the work of God that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. Because though a man labor to seek it, seek it out, yea, further though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. Yeah, that's how the scripture says, wisdom no more in T, man. Okay, he's he think to know it, okay? But he's, but he's not going to obtain it, okay? He just makes the shit up. And, and basically it's a, it's a, fa a facade. Right. And then all the nations that that that's sleeping with the with the woman, okay. They all agreed on a common lie, all right? Which is Esau knowing about outer space and uh, measurements and distances and compositions of the the objects in outer space. Esau don't know that shit. Yeah, kind of when uh, they supposedly landed on the moon, they uh damn devil Buzz Aldrin, whoever. Set foot on the so-called moon, which is nothing but a damn a studio. Yeah, Hollywood studio you know, set. Kind of yeah, and it's supposedly on the moon. You got something called helium three. It's supposed to be the next next generation fuel. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's that's the damn straight up lie. Because if it was next generation, they Esau would be going back and forth the moon, harvesting it. You know, and taking it back and then doing their secret projects with it. You know. Yeah, a quote that devil <laughs> made uh, Buzz Aldrin or uh, 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 Buzz Armstrong, whatever his name was. He said. Uh, one small step for a man and one giant leap for mankind. Basically proving that Esau, he hasn't gone nowhere, man. He hasn't done, he hasn't searched out anything. You know, and, and also, again, the, the so-called lunar moon landing was a hoax, you know? Yeah. Why was the video all fucked up? Yeah, kind. Shit. And they, why did they take the same shot out of every uh, so-called uh, moon landing, you know? It was, I think it was six. And they had the same uh, scenery, the same background. You know? Yeah. Had the flag waving. Yep. You know, there was no blast, uh, no entry uh, crater for a rocket, you know? Because it should have been a big crater where the rocket was, you know, coming down at was no, that, that wasn't there, you know? So it was all bullshit. Right? Esau don't know half the truth. All right, all right. Yeah, kind of. Esau, he has pseudoscience, you know, or, or false knowledge, you know? That basically comes out of his ass. Pseudo Gnostic. Come on. The word I want to give you something out of William Cooper. He was killed by uh, federal authorities working with local law enforcement because of a dispute he had with the IRS, which I think is very interesting. But William Cooper wrote a book, Beyond the Pell Horse, in which he exposed a lot of these things. And on his website, I found this particular item.
This is uh, second, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay. Just so we be not dependent on the sober white man for help. That's 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 the old man. Alright? We depend on your Bosh and Yahweh Shah. We depend on the knowledge that he taught us through our elders, okay? To aid us and to help us throughout our short time here in Babylon. Alright, so you got anything else? Alright, so with that, all praise to you, Hal Bashim Yahweh Shah, Double Honor of the Elders, and uh, hope to see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.